It's time for Guys Talk Knives. We are way too close to Christmas. We are. It's staring us in the face. It is like on top of us. It's like next week. <laughs> yeah. From the though though the work side of my brain is very, very happy. You ever get to this point of the year, and, and I know you do. Again, yeah. I, why am I even asking? It's like we survived. Yes. And that's exactly what it is, though. I mean, <laughs> It's something yeah. weird that happens the first of November where it is, of course, we were doing it for three months, but especially first of November, we're like, okay, Black Friday, 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 and then Cyber Monday, and then, okay, what are we going to do now? And then, oh, dear God, when is the last day of shipping? Because then we can all go, yeah. <sighs> I had to roll up my sleeves just to get through know, that right? opening. I'm serious. You no, know, uh, it is next week. Yes. It is upon us. Thank goodness. And and here's the thing. <laughs> I, what is the, what's crazy about this is tomorrow's the last day that you can ship by our standard shipping and still get guaranteed to get yes, your product. Yes. Tomorrow, the 19th of December. Well, I bet nobody else's standard shipping is going to guarantee I, it tomorrow. I don't think so. No. I don't not. think so. Uh, and here's the thing. It's uh, it's priority mail shipping. Yeah. So those guys are working their tails off steel, still. Steel. They, they hate us. <laughs> uh, they hate this, us so you, much. You think we're tired? Just imagine yeah. what the people at the post office no. are right now. Hey! This is a homemade explosive device, and I'll blow it up. You know why? Because I work for the post office, so you know I'm not stable. Tell them. Oh, no, I wouldn't even go into the post office. I was talking oh. about our warehouse in danger. Ah, screw them. They uh, Can you imagine <laughs> that? I've been over there when it wasn't busy. Yeah. And, and thought, no, no. No, I couldn't I, do that all day yeah. long. Because they are pulling and packing and checking and doing all of that <sighs> stuff and making sure everything goes out the door. Yeah. And they try to ship clean every day. They almost have to. I mean, this they time of year it gets really, to. really yeah. hard, but it, it is. But seriously, though, today and tomorrow, last days, yep. you can order from us and guaranteed get your package by Christmas. Exactly. That's right. After that, you're going to have to speed it up somehow. <laughs> you're done. Yeah, you might as well just hang it up. But, you know, it is a good place, especially if you're looking for those last-minute gifts, if you're looking for stocking stuffers to kind of complete somebody's Christmas or Are whatever. Are you segueing? <laughs> segueing like a <laughs> madman. Um, it is, it is a, we, the, Smoky Mountain Life Works is a tremendous place to do that. Oh, yeah. Because there's something for everyone. It's, it's a place you could add things to a stocking. You can add things oh, yeah. to, uh, you know, you forgot cousin Jerry was coming in and no, sure. Yeah. yeah. And so you just want to grab something yes. small and, yeah. and get it done. And so that's what we've done today. We, we've picked, uh, things that are last minute Christmas and gifts. Got some cool stuff on the table. I try to do a, 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 ver- a variety, a verity. No, it's a, it's a, you I have a good talk no more, one Jason. Of us can. You have a good gambit of products on the table, and I, I some of them I haven't seen before. You know, and just, one, uh, uh, I'm, I haven't bought a buck in a long uh, time. You are all about have the one. buck. Now, I'm going to tell you, when you they, go back and you watch these episodes back, you're going to be like, I'm all about the buck at the end of 2018. I really am. They did something with this that makes me want a 110. They made it easy, but we're going to get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah not before first, we jump on that. Yeah. But uh, it, it really is. You picked some good stuff. Thank you. That little little monster over there. Yeah, we can look at that. I like those. Uh, it is the first pattern and probably uh, the my favorite knife that I've ever designed for Smokey. It it's is gorgeous. The old Southwest series. Yeah. Um, We've got, what, eight? Different patterns in that, I think it is. It's close to that. I yeah. know there's a bow trapper. I know there's a standard trapper. You? Bow trapper? No. Hey, if I'm going to make something with a handle that pretty, I'm putting a bow trapper <laughs> in that mix. Exactly right. And I will right. fight you for it. That's exactly right. right. So this is a nickel silver handle. Yeah. Right? And then we did uh, synthetic stone inlay, uh, red, blue, or red turquoise. Sure. And and the mother of pearls uh, synthetic. It has there. such a good southwest feel to it. That handle it stuff. It really does. does. And and this isn't like printed on there. No, no, it's actual it's like, inlays. It's, yeah. it's actual inlay and the nickel silver has actually been molded. So yeah. y- you can actually feel the ridges in there. I'm going to open this up so you can see. Of course it has the old southwest um uh frosted edge on it. Yeah. You know what we're going to do today? We're going to describe things a lot better. Well, let's do that. You know, I like that idea. And, and because Cause usually we're like, oh, isn't that pretty? The other day I was listening to it and you know, I have to, John sends me the cuts. Sure. I have to, of course, review them. And a lot of times I get busy doing something else. So I'm just listening in the background. I thought, <laughs> oh, this is how the podcast experience is. Yes. And then I thought this thing there, that yes, isn't that pretty. 
So what we're looking at is a canoe pattern, a traditional yeah. canoe pattern. We, we've got basically uh, uh, embossed uh, nickel silver handles, and in between the embossing, you've got uh, black there. So yeah. it, you're basically looking at this thing uh, as an embossed piece, a very gorgeous Southwest pattern in it, and then separating all those things are red, white, and turquoise. Uh, a little bit of detail still. that I, I don't know how well it's going to pick up. Flip it over on the, where we can see the back. You can even see, and for those of you listening, you can see where the sinstone, the 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 red and the turquoise, bleed over all the way. Yeah, yeah, they're actually spacers. They're actual spacers. You can see it on the back, on the spine of the knife. Right. Um. Again, it's that little bit of detail that a lot of knife companies don't put in. Right. And then, the time for. It. And then they dropped a nice little uh, diamond uh, pattern of uh, synthstone right into the lead bolster. Yeah. Just on both sides. And and this is a 440A stainless steel yeah. Rough Rider. Um, at this point, we can mention that Rough Rider now has a Y. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Rough you'll Rider, see that you'll see that change coming over. It's not that on is this the pattern. only change. Right. They're still the same fantastic knife for the best price you'll ever find. Right. And and speaking of price, how what is the price on this canoe? So this one is twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. There's a lot of work in that knife for twenty bucks. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> they did a Excuse great me. it choked him up yeah. there was so much work in it uh, i mean there if you look at the time that was put into the to the design work to the manufacturing to the tooling to get this all to look as tight and clean as it does i mean I, again i don't know that um can i tell you we've been, we've been waiting almost 2 years on this well again there's it a lot was of work getting in this. it right in the factory it was looking at the samples and going no that's not quite where it needs to be this to me this isn't just we're going to have a, a slab of scent stone and a spacer and right. a slab and we're done. There's so much meticulous detail on this knife. Right. Um, I can't wait to see the rest of them in person. Yeah. And of course, half stops in the blades. Yeah. Uh, in anything that doesn't lock. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, match strike pulls, frosted blade etches, uh, all that deep swedging. Look at this, John, if, if you can on a camper too. Deep swedging at the tops of the blades. That's one thing that I have not, sure. we've not mentioned on the show yeah. at all about Rough Rider, but when uh, Rough Rider stepped up their game about two years ago, yeah. uh, not that they were bad, no, uh, they no, just sure. decided, you know, let's go all out. Let's do something different. Uh, so these have the traditional swedging yeah. at the top of the blades, uh, like, you know, really hardcore, great traditional knives had back in the day. I mean, if you're looking for something that is as close to a traditional 1950s, 1940s pocket knife. Oh, yeah. This is it. Yeah, this is it. This is this is for real. This you could put on your shelf and it'll look great in your display if oh, you have Southwestern stuff, or you can put it in your pocket, carry it every day because it's Carried only it's 20, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. It's twenty bucks. Right, and of course it comes with the uh, magnetic clasp collector's box. And I think we've Always. talked about this before. Here's what I love about these boxes, and not to toot your horn because I know you designed them, right? But you have a gift box ready. Just stick a bow on top of that and say Happy Christmas. Sure. <laughs> and you can just pretend you're in England. God bless us, everyone. Exactly. Oh, Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, sir. Here's your old Southwest. Here's your Southwestern old, knife. Old Southwest. I've always wanted to go From there. the colonies, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the, uh, that is the Rough Rider, Old Southwest Canoe. Yeah. The new pattern should come in really soon. They should. We yeah. are hoping, hoping, hoping so that we've been told they're on a boat. We've been told they're coming into port. <laughs> we've been told all kinds of things. They are close. They are close. Can we get them to put a little a little GPS tracker I'm gonna tell on you, the when, boxes? When they all, It'd be great. We can stick it on the website and you can see them coming in. That'd be crazy. <laughs> but cool. I Would like be really it. Neat, yeah. I dig it. No, What's I it? I love that and I can't wait to see the rest of them. And the best thing for me is that my favorite pattern, I think, right now at the time of mm -hmm. me saying this is the canoe because I love the way it looks. So you put that in a stocking or put it under the tree for somebody. <laughs> yeah. They're going to love it. Of course they are. They're going to love it. You're looking to round out a gift for somebody. There you go. Yeah. 20 bucks. There you go. 20 bucks. Do it today or do it tomorrow. Yeah. And that's true it's with any rough tree. rider. I think the top price point on a rough rider right now that we have on the site may be 25 or 30. Yeah. And, and, and that's going to be usually a, um, it's going to be a Bowie uh, knife. It's, yeah, it's going to be a fixed blade. Yeah, it's going to be a fixed yeah, yeah, blade. Yeah. On a pocket knife. 20's top end. 20's top end. And that is top end. Yeah. So go to the website, click on brands, click on R, go to Rough Rider, and just start digging through the Rough Rider knives. Because if you're looking for those last minute stocking stuffer style gifts, right. those things to take 
you know, for a for a Dirty Santa. If you want to be the winner at Dirty Santa, oh yeah, <laughs> drop in a Rough Rider. A knife. It's gonna get swapped all day long. A knife wins dirty santa every time hands down every time every time because you're gonna get it and then i'm gonna go no that's mine that's right and the next person's gonna go mm, no nope, they're that's gonna mine. have to use that rule that no three past the three trade rule exactly, because yeah. that's that's how you're gonna end up with it because it's gonna it's gonna get I, dirty i have put a knife put a couple of knives oh, sometimes yeah. even swords into dirty santa over sure. the last three years and let me tell you they go every time every time yeah every time you know what though you could also do it with the rest of the stuff on this table. You could. Let's talk about what's next. All right. So next up, and and again, this is this is my jam right now. Your jam. This is the Buck One Ten Slim. Oh um, God, can I do it? Oh, 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 I did it. I don't know what I like best about this slim line from Buck. Is it the size? Because again, you're taking it's half the width of a traditional one ten. Yeah. Almost. It is exactly the same length. It is Ex- exactly yeah. all of the other things. And then you're looking at, look at the slimness. It's a, it's a tactical that. pocket knife. You have a deep carry pocket clip, but you still have that same tough as nails lock back. So let's let's go back to our rule for just a second. What we're looking at is yes. a, uh, th- what is the title, actual title? So on this, this one is the Buck, sl- the Buck Knives 110 Slim Select. Okay, and it comes in several different colors. It does. This the, happens to be the red GFN handle. That's um, right. It, it's a great composite handle to a knife. Keeps the weight down. Feels great in your hand. If you're listening to the podcast, imagine a 110 in your head. Yes. You could take this knife that I have in my hand and lay it directly on top of a classic Buck 110, and it's going to be identical. It's the same silhouette. It is. The, the same exact, exact same, same silhouette. silhouette. And then if you flip it on its side, you're going to notice that it's about, I'm going to say, half if not just <laughs> yeah. a little over half the width yes yeah less girth in this thing. i mean the the handle the thickness on the handle is what makes this slim um you have a nice honeycomb pattern on the on the red handle on all of the the select series that have different colored handles right. um, um think of the the buck bantams and that's that style composite handle the way right. it fills in your hand but on a 110. Yeah, but look at this deep carry pocket clip on the back. I know. It's it's great. Are I am fully sold. reversible so that you can, Jason Harrington can use this knife. Yes. And, and I carry it. didn't believe that Buck was going to make me want to buy a 110. Because I've got a 110 it, at a house. This, at a house, and they're the same. Right. 420 I mean, HC, is that what's in here? Um, Let me check. Yes, 4, 420 HC still. Yeah, so the classic. Uh, 420 HD, and it looks like a stone wash hand, uh, yeah. stone wash finish on the blade. I'm telling you, this is your work knife now. It comes We're, in red, black, blue, and green. Yes, and actually, I think on the website we call that chartreuse. I think we do too. Yeah, I think that's what <laughs> Buck calls it. <laughs> do you think they were just screwing with people? Probably. <laughs> I would. Probably. Let's see if we can get Jimbo to say chartreuse. <laughs> hey, could you hand me that chartreuse, Buck 110? <laughs> I'm telling you. He will for this thing. He will. I think because it's not a classic green, so it is sure. more that uh, limeish it, it chartreuse. Is, yeah. Exactly. But uh, I love these. This again, becomes your work knife again. I I didn't know that I won another buck one ten price. I was wrong. I do price thirty bucks. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's People, what I'm saying. If you have somebody in your life that you've always wanted to get involved in with buck knives, and they. They're a case person. They're they a Kershaw the person. System. Exactly. And you're like, I really want them to like a buck knife. Right. Here it is. This is it. Yeah. God. Listen to the lockup. There is no wiggle in this no, thing this, whatsoever. It, it's what I like about it. Uh-huh. That's what you have to say about the buck 110. Stab myself. And don't do that. Um, <laughs> then I have to go get band-aids and there's paperwork. Like you're going to tend to be like a nurse. No, I'm gonna, like, you're no, gonna laugh I'll bring and bring you band aids though, and say, "Here, put that on. Don't stab yourself next time." <laughs> um, but it's what I've always liked about the 110. About any buck lockback is that. I mean, look how much steel is in that lockback, and it's right. just solid. It's there. Right. You have to actually push. There's no yeah, dinking around with it. It's you're, there. You're never going to accidentally open that. No, it, it's just, just not going to oh, happen. I love yeah. it. I am completely and totally sold on that Slim series. They've got them in Micarta styles. This is the the le- less expensive, more right. more cost effective yes. version of it. The yes. Select series is four different colors for thirty bucks a piece. Yeah, and if you watched last week, you saw us deal with the uh, Slim Pro. Yeah, and that one's Micarta, 
at uh, a higher green and brown. It, it, uh, yes, green and brown Recorda, yeah. and then S thirty five or S yeah S thirty five VN steel, yeah. which is the upgraded version of this slim. Which are still only seventy and eighty bucks. Yeah, for the one twelve and the one ten. Yeah, this for thirty. Yeah, did I mention there's this in the one twelve as well? Of course there is. Of course it's a little bit less. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I again sold you can't beat it completely on that slim series. Um, if you if you've thought I have a one ten, don't need a new one. You're wrong. You're a granddad. You carry a one ten. You want to blow your grandson's <laughs> mind. That is such a good point. I'm serious, yes. right? So grandson, hey, he's 12, 13 years old. You're like, hey, look, kid, this is just like granddad's, except you're not going to break it. You're not going to ruin it. Older grandson. He's in his 20s. and He thinks he's all, you know, <laughs> Billy Badass carrying his, his Kershaw. Get him one of these. Yeah. Get him one of these. Yeah. He's going to go, oh, man, I really like that, you know, too. The thing is, he's going to think of his granddad forever. Of course he is. From the time he picks yes. up his knife. And because it's a buck, American made. Yeah. It's going to last forever. It is. It's going to. Ha- it actually has the lifetime warranty. Yeah, it does. And that's uh, they call it something, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, they have a. But a yeah, name for but it. you know, he passes that on to his kid. They're still going to replace this knife. I, I, the, again, for, the forever warranty. That's. I that's could what talk has. about this knife the entire show. I know you could. I. And the bell will toll. <laughs> Apparently, I'm being played off the stage. <laughs> Boom. But no, I, I completely dig that. So since we're halfway through, sure, sure yeah. let's let's take a break and and uh, and and uh, put that little nice flashy card in the middle That's of that right. while while Jason's doing that. I know. Uh, you know, we have now topped over ninety four thousand, headed right towards ninety five. I wouldn't be I surprised when this uh, uh, um, airs. Yeah, you know, it's we're literally at ninety five thousand people on point, yeah. Facebook. If you're not part of the SA, SMKW Army, you need to be there on Facebook. Be there on Instagram. We are still growing on Instagram. No doubt. We've got giveaways every single week. Yep. There. Uh, one on Facebook, one on Instagram. They're never the same unless somebody is just really cool to us and goes, hey. Can Here's I, more of this to give away. Yeah, here are two of yeah. these. Here are two of these. And we'll give those away. You probably saw that a week or so ago when we sure. gave away the Kaiser Guru, which oh, was out there. That's awesome. Oh, it's, oh yeah. they sent us two. To give away one on Instagram, one Kaiser's on kind of fantastic hey, that way. Kaiser rocks that way. But again, we are here on the 18th of December right yeah. now. Tomorrow is the last day that you can buy from us and get your package guaranteed for Christmas. So make sure you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, make sure you're tuning in on YouTube. Make sure you're tuning in on Facebook, subscribing, and all those good things. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. It's time for a little break, Jason. Yes, it is. We'll be right back with more Guys Talk Not. Because you want a problem solver, not just a conversation piece. There's no longer an I in Rough Rider, but there's a lot of why. Rough Rider, always built by hand and back for life. And we're <laughs> back with more Guys Talk Knives. That's Jason. I'm Andy, and we're brought to you by smkw.com smoky mountain knife works the world's largest knife store Twenty one thousand products and growing 21,000 it's amazing <laughs> it's more it's amazing than, it's more than amazing i mean especially when you look at how many we've put on in the last six months uh, yeah and how many have gone out the door for this holiday season <laughs> and we'll still go out the door till tomorrow can i tell you still get to you by christmas that by was tomorrow. my favorite part of black friday cyber monday what's that was watching the site busters and when they sold out, going, yes. that one's gone. Yes. And that one's gone. Let me replace it with something else. In in most cases, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because we could. And it was nice. That was fun. Ding. You. Andy's found gonna, a new musical instrument. I'm going to learn to play that by the end of the show. It's like a jaw harp. <laughs> like a jaw harp. It's like a jaw harp. We got 21,000 items and a jaw harp. <laughs> Only without the potential tooth damage. Diet Mountain Dew. We're not sponsored by Diet Mountain Dew, but we'll take it. If they want to send us a crate to keep Andy happy, we'll take it. Hey, I can't do this show without being all jacked up on That's Mountain true. Dew. It's coming to you like a spider monkey. That's right. Uh, next up is Don't Andy's. Don't you put that. <laughs> Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. God, such a good movie. I, I want to see his new Sherlock Holmes movie. Have you noticed how many times I've put this on the show? <laughs> um, every show. <laughs> Anytime we put a more out them. there or several more as I have to do an Eldris. This is Andy's Buck Slim. But this is the Eldris. The Eldris. Eldris? Eldris. Yes. Eldris. Yes. And I dig it as well. Look at that. If you just if you are if you are in the need of a small camp knife, this is the one you need. 
So let's describe it for our podcast do yeah. people. I, I got a red one again. So so think. <laughs> I didn't even uh, notice that until just now. Yeah, That's yeah. funny. I was trying to do Christmassy because it was you know last minute Christmas gifts without being Christmassy. Here's what we're looking at. It's a Mordra, uh, a Mordra, a Mora Eldris. A Mora Eldris is like a tiny version, not a tiny. It's a fat, it's, chubby version of a camp knife, and it's yeah. short. It, it's the it's the junior version of the companion. Right. It's got a slight drop point. It's got some great um, detail in the blade. Um, which version is this? This is the... Give us some specs, Mr. This Jason. is the Mora Eldris Pocket fixed blade it has a red polymer handle it has a stainless steel blade how long two and a two and five sixteenth inch so two again and almost what two and a half a little bit a little bit less yeah, than that yeah. inch blade yeah. this is not a large camp knife this no. is something small they call it a pocket because you literally can drop the sheath and all in your pocket yeah and not even know it's there yeah i like then here, here's i think what i like about this knife the handle, though it's shorter than most of your moras out there, the girth of it, the the fatness of it, it's it's really going to stop hand fatigue. Exactly. And I think that's exactly what it's designed for. This version has the 90 degree spine, so mm-hmm. you can sit there and As get on your striker. Sure. Um, the handle on this knife, here's what sells this for me. Um, number one, the blade is the perfect size for just a small yes, knife. Yes. But the handle on this is the size of a normal of a normal sized hand. It's the size of your fist. Not like my tiny little hand. <laughs> yeah. I mean it but it, it fits perfectly in your hand. It has plenty of grip, plenty of texture. Um again you have you have kind of that that woven pattern to the handle. I <sighs> of course it comes with that sheath that yeah in there. And it's a deep carry sheath so you don't have to worry about it catching on anything. It has drain holes in the bottom. I, Razor sharp out of the box. Exactly. From Mora. Yeah price <laughs> this is the thing about this that kills me 30 bucks 30 bucks 30 bucks for a fixed blade camp knife that uh, you can use for anything right this this might be the penultimate hiking knife okay and here's for just like day hikes and for stuff. me throw it in the bottom of your pack forget sure. it's there when you really really need it you've got it <laughs> or if you've been looking for an everyday carry fixed blade mm-hmm. this is your everyday carry fixed blade yeah it can slide down in your pants pocket next to your wallet, and you won't even know it's there. I bought a new backpack for the traveling that we did sure. to Portland and the yeah, other yeah. areas. This would go here. Yeah, I mean, so easily on without, strap without any. It's not going to bug at me. All. I'm not going yeah. to. I'm going to pull it out, make it work the whole bit. Yeah. I mean, I just. I mean, I I dig this knife. Yeah. more than almost anything from. I love I love more anyway. I like. I celebrate their entire catalog. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is cool. The cool thing about these two is they come virtually a rainbow of colors. Oh, they do. Green, they do. blue, red, yellow. And you've got a great lanyard hole. Again, look at this. This doesn't just pop out. Oh, I jam. You have to pull. That. Yep. It is just a glorious little knife. Mm-hmm. And it, again, for just all around camp purposes, sure. hiking purposes. Sure. Terrific. Sure. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Put that in your cart today or tomorrow. Oh, You'll man. get it by Christmas. Yes. Promise. You're going to make somebody, some outdoorsman in your family, very, very happy. Can you imagine? Okay, so you. Outdoors person in your family. Cause, uh, yeah. Your, your kid who likes to uh, hike. Sure. Camp. Fish. All of that stuff, right? Yeah. He thinks he's too big for a stocking. So you put the stocking up. You <laughs> fill it with Hershey's Kisses, candy yes. canes, and other stuff, and you put this way down on the toe of it, right? So he's having a dig and dump stuff out. So he dumps that out, and he's like, oh, yeah. score. And it's... other cool thing is this isn't a brand that you may even be familiar with as much. No. This might be something new for your entire family to dig into a new brand of knives. But you know they've only been making knives since 1891. I know. So. I feel like they haven't been around. No, it's not like they don't know exactly what they're doing. Precisely. I mean, it just, uh, again, that, that Eldris, I'm like you, that's my favorite thing they've done yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I like it. Yeah, I think this is a couple years old now, and yeah. it is fan friggin' tastic. Oh, that's right. I mean, it's not yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. brand new. No, Eldris is like, I think they've been on for about two years. I think it is, yeah. But they feel new because they're so different from everything that's out there. Yeah. Right? They, they are very it. different. I mean, come on, guys. This is a Puko. If you, if you it know, is. It is. Completely. It is, yes. right? It's yes. a stubby Puko. It's a stubby Puko. Which is, is, which is my what rap they name. should have named it. Stubby Puko. <laughs> stubby Puko. 
Well. I like to say Pu'uko. 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 Now let's move to the one that I had not seen at all. For shizzle. I don't, I don't know how I missed this. For shizzle, it's my vizzle. This is the CRKT vizzle. Uh huh. Z I V I V I Z Z L E. Doug. John, remember when we asked who makes these <laughs> names when we were standing in Portland and Doug's like, that's ah, me. It's me. We're sitting in this room. We're making names. So he was especially crazy the day they named this. It is the Vizzle. Yes. Stone wash finish, stainless steel handle, a satin finish, 8 CR13 MOV, drop point blade. So if you're listening on the podcast, what we're holding here is a great everyday carry knife yes. with a pocket clip. Yep. It falls right into that same range uh, of those great things like the Pilar and yeah. those other things like that, where it's got the stainless steel handle. Sure. It has a, a decent sized blade. This is what I would consider a full size everyday carry pocket oh, knife. Oh, sure. Right? The, the blade is, I'm going to say, just under four inches, if I had yeah. to guess. Uh, the blade is four and five eighths. 3.56. Oh, 3.56. Yeah. Three, so just 3. under 3.516th, excuse me. Yeah. So, so four and a half, a uh, three and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So you're talking about that. It is a manual flipper yeah. with a frame lock, a good solid frame lock, too. I'm put it up here, John. Flick it. The action is outstanding yeah. on this knife. Really clean lines on this. I mean, it's it is not overly big in your hands. It's it fits well, um, and everything. When you close this knife, everything seals perfectly on it. Yeah, no, it, it's really really nice in in that it is not a reversible pocket clip. It no. does have the lanyard hole. Has some nice jimping on the back spacer. Yep. Um, I'm I'm happy with this thing. I like I, it. I'm happy with most CRKT. Well, I'm about to say it's CRKT, so I wasn't going to be unhappy with it. Feel the weight. Again, it's it's perfect. You know it's there. Uh huh. It's not super light, right? But it is fast. It has it has a nice indention in the handle, so your your thumb has a place to go if you're mm -hmm. if you're working on the back of the knife. Um, just a it's and that's an eight CR, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So That's here's the thing. Gorgeous. Let me bitch for just a second because yeah, yeah. I'm going to. You know, people down eight CR steals, and they, they do, do it because they come from Asia. Yes, and I think this falls right on the same argument we've had millions and millions and millions sure. of times so far on this show: is why bust on something just because it comes from somewhere else? The eight CR steals, the seven CR steals, they're good steals. Of course, they, they are. They're still upgrades from from a what we were or using for yes hundreds of years. Yes, right. They're excellent steals. How much is this knife? That's 30 bucks. So 30 bucks. No, excuse me, 40. I apologize. Is it 40? Yes, yeah, 39. Oh, I lied. It's okay. It's because it's because Melina switched my floor. Right. But it's still it's still in this case, it is 40 bucks. 40 bucks and you've upgraded a steel from yeah. a standard steel. It is a great everyday carry knife. It is an all steel EDC with a manual flipper and a frame lock. Right. That is going to last literally forever. Right. And the warranty from CRKT is great as sure well, is. right? It messes up on you from something they've done. Send no, it I back. No, you're ever going to need it. I mean, there's the nice thing with this knife is there's very little that can get complicated or go wrong. Right. You got a nice big spacer on the back. You've got a thick blade on this thing. Um, the pocket clip is is very traditional. I'd, yeah, I was gonna it. I was gonna keep this under thirty bucks, and here's how this happened because I picked the Pilar. Sure. From CRKT, and that knife is so popular. We don't. Have, yeah, they, they we're down to away. two yeah. right now. We're so we down needed to, two. to do this, and then they're not be in stock. We, we were down to one in the warehouse and one in the showroom. Sure. And so Melina said no. And we we try not to put stuff on that's going to be gone yeah. when you see it because that seems number yeah, that's, one. That's not fair. Kind of bait and switchy. Yeah. And it just seems bad. Yeah. So we, you know we we changed it out, but I tell you what, I like this better uh -huh. than the Pilar. Uh -huh. Um, I think it. Well, the Polar doesn't have a flipper. Doesn't have a flipper. There's something about the lines in this knife. Uh, not to you know, the blade has a nice big sweep to it, but I just love the way it looks. Even closed, it feels good in your hand. Yeah, it's it's, it's another one of those slim, long, yeah. upswept knives that are kind of the rage. Oh yeah, it's that or a cleaver. <laughs> those are the two rages this year. Uh, um, but I I dig the 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 Vizzle and uh, I dig the Vizzle for shizzle. For shizzle, the, I knew mm -hmm. you were gonna go there. Mm -hmm. um, and again, 40 bucks yeah. for a ZRKT. Right. Great stocking stuffer, great gift, great whatever. So let's hit it again just so we uh, make sure people know what we saw. The Rough Rider over here. Well, Let him have some fun. There so uh, Rough Rider Canoe, yeah. Old Southwest. Love it. You're going to get to see the rest of these soon. 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. Uh, the uh, Buck uh, 110 Select Slim. 
30 slim, bucks. Slim select, 30 yeah, bucks. Slim select. And, and that thing. And is, you can choose colors on this. There's, there's four different colors. Yeah, I love that one. Uh, the Mora, we're just going to keep it right up here, John. It yeah. is the Eldris. Choose colors on this one too, 30 bucks. Yep, multiple colors on that one as well. And of course, the Vizzle. The Vizzle. The Vizzle. 40 bucks. All stainless, all, all still manual flipper with a frame lock. Uh, you, you can't go wrong. And I can't say this enough. It is December 18th today. Yes. You need to order this today or tomorrow. You'll get it by Christmas. You just need to order. If you, are, if you have waited, if you are me, because I have not Christmas <laughs> shopped at all yet, if you are me <clears throat> and you are going to order and get it in, yes. this is your oper- This is yes. the window. The window shutting very quickly. <laughs> right. For, and, and that's priority mail, yeah. our standard shipping. Yeah. I have a note here, I'm pretty sure, about the other. So like, if you wait till after tomorrow yeah. and you need to guarantee that it gets there by Christmas, if you Upgrade really are put the pro in procrastination, yes. the only way you're going to be able to do that is to go UPS next day and exactly. your cutoff is the very next day after that. Yeah. So basically, you get one more day. Yeah. So the 19th or the 20th, if you're not ordering by then, you probably won't get it by Christmas. And just to say it, if you're shopping with anybody else today, you're going to pay more for shipping to get it yep. there. Yep. Whereas our standard shipping is yeah. going to get there to you by Christmas. That's right. Guaranteed. Priority mail. Yeah. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Uh, guys, please, I, I don't know how I can say this anymore to you. What makes this show get seen by other people? Is sharing it, yeah, liking it, and commenting on it. I, I, I hate to be like that, if, but that's the way the algorithms work, right? Yeah. If 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 Facebook looks at a video that's out there and it has uh, not enough likes, it has not enough sure. comments, uh, it just gets pushed to the wayside. But if it gets shared, if it gets liked, if it gets commented on, then Facebook starts putting it in front of other people. I think we ought to do something big when we get a hundred thousand. I, I'm with you on that. We are headed towards 100,000 followers on Facebook in a hurry. So we're going to think about it. Uh-huh. We're nearing the end of the year. We're not going to have 100,000 by the end of the year. No. But let's start the move for a campaign next year. Each one bring one? Hit. I'm down with that, uh, yes. Absolutely. If you guys will share us, if you guys will get people enlisted in the SMKW Army, right. we'll do something big for the 100. We'll have a drawing or something for the 100,000. Yeah, something uh, big. For the 100,000 K episode. Big. That'd be cool. Yeah, it would. Yeah. It? <laughs> so we're going to do so. We're going to put our heads together. We're going to talk about it. We might get it approved. We might not. Yeah. We may just do it anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Apologize later. <laughs> That's right. But we won't, we would love to see the numbers grow in the SMKW army because if you are an active member, you know how good the people are in this group. Absolutely. How much fun they are, mm-hmm. how much, how much respect everybody has. And the fact that we don't put up with a lot of nonsense. So mm-hmm. you can come here and like what you like to like. That's right. Find us on Facebook. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Twitter. Uh, this has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives. In the books. We'll catch you later. Bam.